Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. This week it's nothing but 4G hotspots, not those USB dongles, just a little credit card size 4G hotspots. Welcome to episode number 33. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. Like I said, I went shopping this past week for 4G hotspots. Like I said, um, kind of useless, really, yeah. to be honest with you. It's uh, it's a dying art form, I, I I would like to say, only because well, well I really was, haven't given it a chance to die. Well, they've been out for a few years. The MiFi came around a few years. Yeah. And it's been 3G, 4G, faux 4G. For those of you who know anything about HSPA Plus, it's it's not really 4G, but people still sell it that way. So, uh, I'm gonna let you take the first one because I have a little words for the second company. All right, well, the first one is not 4G. It's through Virgin Mobile, which he's uh, starting to get a little more airplay now. The commercials yeah, I was going to say, he's playing, space, I know. The baby with the beard. It's freaking crazy. That's funny. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> but a good thing about his um, mobile hotspot, or MiFi, yeah. as the kids are calling it, is that $129.99, no contract, boom. Yeah, you're not having to sign a two-year contract like you are with Verizon Sprint. T-Mobile, AT&T, whoever, any of those people that do the contracts. Now, the plans you pick aren't nothing to really um, put your iPad in the car and watch uh, college basketball. No, no, they $10, are $10, 100 megabytes, I can burn that right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. 20 bucks, easy. 500 megabytes, and $50 unlimited, 2 gigs. That's, that's, it's, it's horrible. It seriously is horrible. I mean, if you're going to be the commercial where you're saying you want to get everybody free and take care of their unlimited... But it's stuck at 2.5 gigs. Uh, it's not really unlimited, and you suck because you're not on 4G. But you know they're still working. Is, uh, I, don't is, think, I don't think he sucks. Well, he, either way, he owns an island. He does own an island. I don't own an island. I wish I owned an island. I'm sure a lot of people would like to send you to an island. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving moving on past that, uh, this this company also as well does no contract Wi-Fi hotspots, but they actually do real 4G. Well, kind of. Actually, spoke to a friend of mine at work today and told me that uh, Sprint slash Clearwire or Clear or whatever it is in your area is WiMAX. It's not actually true 4G. It's just kind of a 3G up mix or whatever. So, but anyway, um, this company you heard of way back in the 90s. Yeah. And we actually dial had up. dial up days. They were one of the first ones to give away internet access for free. All you had to do was have this huge banner across your 800 by 600 big screen CRT monitor that but, sat on the bottom. But I had that. It was freeinternet.com was the first company. Right. Because Net Zero was still $9. Yeah. But they bought free internet. They started the free internet. Exactly. And I didn't, um, I didn't mind it. It was free. Yeah. I mean, you got um, huge. Here, let's throw up an ad right here. <laughs> you can still see right. most of the things. Right. And it was dial-up, so you wouldn't download anything, I guess. Yeah, you really wanted to see in a hurry. This was before the Napster days, before we were uh, downloading music and movies and things like that. So yeah, yeah. Net Zero, um, they actually came back out of the blue with their 4G hotspots, sharing through uh, the Sprint towers over WiMAX. And what it is is they've got the Net Zero. It's it's brand new. It actually was announced March 19th. They I don't really know the manufacturer, but it's a hundred dollars, no contract. You buy the device, free internet. Awesome. How much free internet do I get? 200 megabytes. 200 megabytes. I think as soon as I get through streaming Pandora for one day, I'm done. Yeah, that's, that's, about, that's about $15 with the Virgin Mobile. Yeah, that's that's horrible. Uh, but they do have a $10 upgrade. You can do 500 megabytes for $10, 20 for a gig, or 35 for two gigs, and 49.95, so basically 50 for five gigs. So you can upgrade beyond that 200 megabytes if you want, but you're still paying for the $100 for the device, and it's off contract. You're not signing anything. You get it, you know. So which one of these plans attracted you to actually order one? To be honest with you, uh, the $20 one. I was like, $20 for a gig. The reason why is I have another podcast that's more comedy-based. Uh, I get to sit and, you know, kind of BS with friends and, you know, have a good time. We sit down at a bar that has no internet access, and we go out places that have no internet access, so we need somewhere to have internet. So I was like, ah, let's buy one. It's 100 bucks, not bad. We'll move on. It's 4G, yeah. we're good. And then I got home and I started researching just for this story today, actually, finding out there's other devices out there that are cheaper. 
um, better devices that have actual 4G LTE. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm good. I think I want to return that. Yeah. So I was like, hey, net zero, da 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 da. I want to return this. And they were like, we can uh, cut your service, but the uh, device is yours to keep. And I said, so they can cut the service you don't have yet. Exactly. And I said, um, what do you mean by I get to keep? Are you going to return my money and I get to keep the device? They're like, no, no, no. You get to keep it. And I said, what do you, no, no, no. you're not understanding me. I don't want the device. I don't want I don't want any of that. You haven't even sent it yet. Matter of fact, I ordered it yesterday. I'm sure it hasn't left your shipping warehouse. They were like, no, 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 no. You're not listening to us. You get to keep it. Okay, all right, that's fine. So what if it's broken when I get it? You get to keep it. Saying so you hit it with a hammer <laughs> when it arrives. Basically, and I was like, so no matter what I do, I'm keeping the device. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, screw you guys, click. So I went through and I was like, all right, this is ridiculous. So I go through the website and sure enough, in the background, third page deep, whatever, it says in nice bold black letters, you cannot return the device unless defective. Yeah. So I'm throwing it in a microwave as soon as I get it in, and I'm sending it right back over to the United States Post Office, and I'm going to hand it right back to them and say, suck it. But either way, that's 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 just, that's uh, uh, you'll hear about that later. Uh, but yeah, that's net zero. If, if you want free Wi-Fi for 200 megabytes, and you don't use it for enough, you know, you check your email, you check your Facebook, 200 megabytes in a month, you're good. So I, I'm, I'm going to be done with that. I'll let you get on to the, the next company there down the line. All right, company you have heard of, Verizon. Big Red. 4G, true 4G LTE, 700 megahertz. Right. You can, you got the true one there. Right. They offer their Wi-Fi, it's called the Jetpack. Terrible name. Samsung makes it, but still. No uh, no SD slots on that. Yeah, that's, that's, one thing, that's one thing that's actually coming up in some of these new devices is having SD cards. As we move on, that's what we're going to move into. Is some of these cards, actually, some of these Wi-Fi hotspots yeah. have SD available. Now, the newer one, I believe, may have it. I'm not sure. I didn't verify it for this story, but I think the new one does. But go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. The new Verizon. The, well, there's not a new Verizon, but there's a anyway. <laughs> oh, you talk. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. All right. So yeah, it's free with a two-year contract. Right. Or you can get it pre-owned for. Was it twenty? No, I think it's. I think it was reverse. Oh, yeah. If you sign the two-year contracts, you can get it because it's two hundred and sixty-nine dollars outright. Yes. And then yeah. if you want to get it on the two-year contract, you can actually pay twenty bucks. Or if you go with the crappy recertified one, the which, pre-owned, pre-owned yeah. one. Sorry, it's it's free. And I, and I wouldn't say crappy because most of the time they recertify those things. They work. They're great. They're fine. So the previous owner just put it in the microwave. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch that one. <laughs> so it's a uh, fifty dollars for five gigabytes, eighty dollars for ten, and that's that's the only two options. Where the last two companies, you know, had some options, uh, not so much with Verizon. So true four G, you have you got two. Yeah, that's 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 it. So moving on to our next favorite company, which uh, you and I both subscribe to for our phones, AT and T. But anyway, moving on, AT&T's mobile hotspot, theirs is the Elevate, uh, unknown on the manufacturer, it's just called the AT&T 4G Elevate. It's actually $69.99, so a lot cheaper than the other ones, less than $100, yep. or, you know, but that's signing a two-year contract as well. If you don't, you got to pay the extra $200, so it's $269 if you want to get it off contract, pay for it month to month. Problem with them, the biggest problem I have with them, $50, that's it, that's all you get, $50. That's, that's, because I was actually, when I was looking through some of these devices, Verizon has tells us all about now, says you can buy two gigs and get four gigs for 30 bucks. I was like, oh, let's do that. Then I went to go actually buy the device and they were like, no, 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 that's, that's, that's for cell phones. This is for data packages. You have to buy, you know, same thing with AT&T basically. 50 bucks, five gigs, that's all you get. And they've got SD storage up to 32 gigs. So you can actually share some devices across or you can share files across multiple devices within your network that you create. So that's actually a good thing. That's actually a good option. Yeah, I, I kind of like that, but again, I just don't like the one option, fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and that's all you get. You know, because if I go over, I'm screwed, and if I don't use it, I feel like I, you know, undervalued whatever it is. You know, all that data that I've paid for. So I don't know. Uh, you want to get the next one? Sure. Next one is Sprint. 
Your favorite? Oh yeah, 4G Y Max. Right. Which again, not which I was told today apparently is not truly 4G, but right. My company pays for it, so I continue to use it. <laughs> All right. Um, for their device, you can get it like Verizon, uh, free. free with a two-year contract, or right. buy it outright for two hundred seventy-nine dollars, no contract. Right. Or they got a ninety-nine dollar rebate. Blah blah. A lot yeah. of rebates happening if you want to win. Instant on count discounts, fifty dollar re mail in rebate, all this stuff. It ends to up to let you know about Sprint, they are a wheel and deal company. If you don't like your bill, if you don't like your phone, just argue with them for a long time and they'll give up. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's awesome. Um there is S D storage available. I didn't get the uh, yeah. I didn't get that information. The details Sorry. on yeah, that. Yeah. Sorry about but that. But it is available. Um, thirty four ninety nine for three gigs, forty nine ninety nine for six gigs, and eighty dollars for twelve gigs. Eighty bucks for twelve gigs. That's better than the eighty eighty bucks for the ten gigs that you get. You know, it's two gigabytes more. So yeah. you know, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll Sprint's see. network is iffy. Yeah, they've, they've got the same one that Verizon does. They've got the MiFi by Novatel. Novatel actually makes the modem, and it's just a little click, you know, pop in your pocket type yeah. thing. It goes. Now, uh, thanks to AT and T, you can talk about the next one. <laughs> they wouldn't even have this. Exactly. T Mobile uh, actually on their 4G again, faux 4G because it's HSPA plus uh, slash H. No, well HSP. I, I can't plus plus. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, as as my notes completely went dead, apparently. That's gonna... Here, hand me that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, the T-Mobile Hotspot 4G HSPA Plus uh, is called the Sonic T-Mo 4G Hotspot. $124.99, $25 mail-in rebate makes it $99. Uh, also with a two-year contract. If you wanna buy it outside of that, it's $175, which I wouldn't buy the T-Mo Hotspot. I, I, I just really wouldn't, based upon the fact that that's not real 4G as well. Um, they do have an SD card slot. I'm not sure on the actual available space on that, but their internet is $39.99 for two gigs, $49.99 for five gigs, and $79.99 for 10 gigs. That pretty I think much it's just to piss AT and T off. I think it is. I don't think too. they really care what you get. <laughs> it's it's, it's just gonna be a tin foil with the antenna on it. Exactly. So I mean, that's that's pretty much all you get. So so. It, Am I willing to go and buy one of these things now that I've pulled all this stuff up and I've wasted $100 and apparently I'm not going to get back? Yeah, it's um, when, it, like when we first saw the commercials for them, it was like, hey, I'm the cool guy. I've got, I've got the MyWi. I'll put it on the table at the restaurant. Right. You know, everybody's got Wi-Fi. Yeah. It, it, it just seems yeah, an attractive thing to have. And I, I think it's the attractive thing to have when you don't have a cell phone that does the Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah. And this is, this is the reason why I ended up not going with any of these, actually. I have two phones, an Android and an iPhone. The iPhone does my, the MiFi if you jailbreak it. Jailbreak city, it. City, That's all exactly. you got to do. You can get away from it. Well, does AT&T still send the uh, I, hey, you've been tethering uh, text? Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I took my Android as well, didn't even have to root it. I found an app that actually turns my uh, regular Wi-Fi feature on mm -hmm. and then turns it into a hotspot and I didn't even have to root it. So I thought it was great. Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna use both of those at the bar because um, iPhone, the uh, my Wi, kind of having some problems. It's not 100%. I paid 20 bucks for it. It should be 100%, but I may have to just uninstall, reinstall. I don't know, it may just be me, but. That's pretty much all we had for this week. Uh, there wasn't much in the news reel, as it were. No, but we've heard of a, a lot of people talking about these 4G hotspots, and we're interested in them as well. So share your comments of how well, the tragedy that you've had with yours. If you've had one, <laughs> I, I had a couple friends tell me on Facebook that, yeah, yeah, I've had one, blah, blah, blah. So if you're watching this video, please don't comment in Facebook, because that doesn't really count. Go to our YouTube page and uh, hit the comments below. Let us know what kind of experiences you've had with your 4G device, whether it's 4G, 3G, whatever it is. I don't even care if it's Boost Mobile, if they even have one. Same. Where you at? <laughs> Cricket, you know, if they've got one. Cricket. Do they have one? No. 4G, though. What? Remember Cricket? And, no. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, Cricket. When? With, um... Clear? Clear. Clear. That's Sprint. Yeah, but still. But that's also Cricket. Boost Mobile. Still, that's also we have AT and T. They got their own building downtown. You can't miss it. 
<laughs> you can see it everywhere in the town. Cricket. Uh, just, out of nowhere, <laughs> we got 4G. I think theirs is HSPA Plus, too. I don't care. <laughs> That's it for this week. I don't think anything else was really pertinent except for... Except for, you know, that the uh, Kindle Fire's battery is terrible. <laughs> Get you an iPad. No, the Kindle Fire is fine. It's, it's just had some issues the past couple of days. <sighs> Anyway, that's it for this week. You can follow us online, youtube.com slash textnationTV, textnation.tv. Textnation. I just did that. Twitter.com slash textnationTV or at textnationTV. Or you can follow us online as well. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash textnationTV. You can always email one of us uh, through... Well, I'm on Twitter now. Oh, yeah, that's right. One last big announcement. This guy, this guy is on Twitter. What's, what's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's text Allen. There you go. Rusty can add this in editing. Exactly. Well, I'm not going to put it over there. I'm going to put it down here, a little bit down here. So, yeah. Text Allen. Make sure you uh, hit him up and add him, follow him, as well as the Text Nation name. And we will see you again for episode 34, I believe. 34. All right.